Hello and welcome everybody to the new bid.rogersohio.com. It is our new bidding platform. If you are registered with us on uh, rogers rogersohio.highbid.com, it will no longer be hosting our online auctions or our online bidding as far as our monthly auctions is concerned. It will be bid.rogersohio.com or simply go to our website and click online auctions at the top and it will take you right to this page. If you were registered with us in the past and have bid in the online portion of our auctions before, you are more than likely to already have an account. You will just need to reset your password. To do that, go to login register in the top right hand corner. Sorry for the autofill. Hit reset password. Type in your email and or well, type in your email. Your username, in this case, will be your email. It will not be your username from Hybid. We did not pull those over as we did not have access to put them into any reports. So your username will be your email that you registered with before. Once you type it in, click Reset. If it does match, it will send you a email that looks something like this to that email, in which you'll click this link and it will redirect you in order to for you to put in your password. And then you can come back to this page, click login register, put it in this these fields, your email and your password, and it will um, allow you into your account. If you do not have an account register, if you do not get that email, make sure to check your spam for that email as they do sometimes go there. You can click register here at the bottom and you can type in your username, password. In this case, you can choose your username. If we have created the account already and you're already in our system, the username is your email because that's what we had access to. If you're entering your own account, you can choose whatever username you'd like. However, once your account is created, you cannot change your username. However, we can at the office. Um, and first name, last name, email, company if it so fits, and then date of birth. You can either type it in, um, but you have to use um, the correct punctuation, or you can simply click these, find what you're looking for and enter it manually. Um, to do all this, if you're on a cell phone, at the top on the cell phone, you'll see the login register. You just have to click that and it will. you can walk through all these steps on a cell phone. Interested in this helps us in our marketing back to you. So click whatever you're interested in. If it's multiple things, you can put as many as all of these in that field. Where did you hear about us? Um, this just helps us in our marketing and for our analytics on the back side. Phone numbers, you can put in whatever phone number you'd like here. If you have two phone numbers or an extension there. Um, text messages, if you don't want to receive any, leave it there. If you do, you can pick one of these numbers. That is handy because if you buy or you get outbid, if you're bidding, uh, if you do receive text messages, you'll know immediately whether you got outbid. If you bought something, they'll send you a message with your invoice and all that good stuff. So, and then you want to fill in your address here. Nice thing is once you type in your zip code, it auto fills. So then you'll click next step once you have all that in. If you do have a different shipping address, uh, we do not do much shipping or any really. But if you have a shipping address, you unclick that, you can change the address. If it's the same, just leave it checked. Hit next step. These are the blanket terms and conditions that covers the entire website. Uh, feel free to read through them. And then you'll have to check mark this box here and hit submit. Now those are the terms and conditions for the website as a whole, not exactly the website for each individual auction. Each individual auction has um, terms and conditions that will be um, just a little more finite than those 
you had just agreed to. After that, as it says here, it sends an email to the email you registered with. Um, in doing so, you will want to check your email. Go to your email and you'll open it and this is what it'll look like. It'll show that it's coming from Rogers Community Auction. Have your name, your username in it. Then you'll click the verify email button, which will bring you back to our website and email verified. At that point in time, you can go here, type in your username, your password, and once you're logged in up here at the top, you can see the logout button. This is where you can access your watch list or your account. If you go to the home screen, um, you'll see this is a list of our auctions. This auction will actually be live. These are our test auctions before we go live. But uh, you can go into your account information, which will have, for me, there's nothing in here currently, but it'll have all this information you can change your preferences, so your notifications, your email blasts, what it will send you, what it will not send you. Um, you can adjust all that as need be. Your credit cards, um, before you register for any online auction, you will have to, if you do not have a credit card entered in this section, it'll prompt you to do so at that time. Um, but you can add a credit card here. Just simply do that, fill this out, hit add. Um, I know it's asking for the address again, because some have, cards and they use the cards that have a different billing address. This address will have to be the billing address of your card. Fill that out, hit add, as long as all the information matches up, it'll put it in. Of course, your watch list, if you're bidding on items, will be here. And any invoices that you may have or have had will stay listed here and you can view them um, at your leisure. Um, that is the long and the short of it. If you have any questions, Feel free to email info, info at rogersohio.com or call the office at 330-227-3233. Thank you.